your business? When I'm talking to you, I'll look at you. Not on my watch. Not on my watch. Will you disrespect? Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's me again, Beatrice. I'm back with another video. Yes, I'm wearing the same thing. It's the same day, obviously, and maybe you might have seen this sweater in another video. I'm not a star. I wear my clothes several times. So, that's that. Um, so, I'm sure you guys have seen the title. And I've been wanting to address this issue, but I was thinking that maybe I shouldn't, maybe I shouldn't. But this, my channel, is a channel where I talk about whatever I want to talk about. So, if you guys want to know how I feel about this subject, Please like this video, subscribe if you haven't, and you guys can follow me on my, on my Instagram. I'll put my username in the description box and you guys can connect with me on oh, now. How I feel about respect in Nigeria. You know, there's, there's this whole thing about respect, respect your elders in Nigeria. You know, it's a very beautiful concept. Uh, Nigeria is not the only country that, uh, that exercises this culture and stuff. I really like it, it's very beautiful. But we seem, but we seem to not really also uh, talk about respect towards young people, uh, respect respect towards children, and I feel like it can become toxic. The uh, con uh, respect your elders culture in, in Nigeria can become toxic um, in regards to respect, no matter what they do to you. It's very, 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 very toxic. And um, also, I feel like, you know, this thing with calling people aunties and uncles, like, you're not related to my mom, are you? You're not related to my aunties. My aunties are directly related to my mom. They're sisters. They're born from the same mother. Now, I understand maybe calling, you know, someone that's not your mom's uh, sister or sibling or your dad's sister or sibling, um, auntie, out of respect, you know, and just out of like you're being familiar with the person because last last if you guys want the utmost respect you can just call the person ma or sa you get but that's more formal but it is respectful still so just because you want to be familiar and respectful at the same time you call them auntie or uncle cool that's fine i don't have no problem with that now because before <laughs> i had a big issue with it but now it's like okay I see everybody does that. It's cool. I'll call you Uncle Kinikon Kinikon. But when Uncle Kinikon Kinikon is making advances to you, respect is out of the window. I'm calling you by your first name. You don't want to act like your age, so I'm not going to address you like somebody of your age. You get? If your name is maybe uh, Lekon, and I was giving you respect, I'm calling you Uncle Lekon. I'm calling you Lekon now. We're on the same level since you decided to, be, to act like somebody beneath my age. Yes. But apparently, in a country like Nigeria, no matter what this so-called uncle does to you or this so-called auntie does to you, there's no way, no how. You still have to respect them, and I think that is very, very, very toxic. So, when the when 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 do we draw a line? You know, when you feel disrespected, because normally respect is what, like Bernard Boss say, respect is reciprocal. There's no reciprocity in that kind of culture. It's like. If, you, if they're bigger than you, the, let me say, the only time where the um, the rule don't seem to apply is maybe if you have more money than this so-called uncle or auntie and then now it's like, they're calling you ma, they're calling you sa, they're calling you madam or they're calling you boss. So, um, I feel like it's just not, I don't know, there's so many loopholes in this uh, culture of respect, there's so many loopholes, it's not constant, it's not consistent and it's very confusing and you just, you just know you get there and no matter what happens no matter how you feel disrespected no matter what somebody does to you whether it's inappropriate or not you still have to give them their respect me i can't do it i just cannot do it it's not possible if you act like a stupid person i will address you like a stupid person that's just it you get and um it's not even the thing is that i'm not even disrespecting you disrespected yourself already so if you disrespect yourself, you can't, you cannot possibly expect anybody to respect you if you're disrespecting to your, yourself. You get what I'm saying? No, you're calling this little girl your niece, but you're still, you know, making advances to her. Which one is it? What do you want to be? 
Do you want to be young, old, uncle, nephew, father, brother? Which one do you want to be? You get? So that's how I feel about that. You guys tell me if I'm not making sense or um, what I'm saying is too like, oh, because I'm westernized. I, it's not, I feel like we should put that aside. Just let us be logic. I don't feel like it's about being westernized. I just, I just genuinely feel like respect is not reciprocal in Nigeria unless you have money or age. You know, it's really weird. As for the money part, it's all around the world. That's global. But really, when it comes to age, like the rapport between, you know, adults, you know, and children, and then older people and younger people is very, very weird. Like, it's just like, if they're older, you have to respect them regardless. And if you're young, you should take everything that they, that they, that they dishing you, and you just, you just take it like that, cause that's the culture. Uh, I think that's, that's, that's dumb. And I feel like culture can be updated sometimes. Yeah, it can be updated. You know, it's not everything we must keep. You get if the culture is toxic, we can't wait away. There's no problem. So that's my thoughts on that. You guys share your thoughts in my comment section. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.